Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Nether Rack. Um, I know that Nether Rack is easily obtained going into the Nether, uh, but in Sky Factory 4 there are a lot of bugs and issues with going into the Nether that can cause a lot of lag and even mess up your game a little bit. So sometimes it's uh, preferred to not have to go into the Nether if you don't have to. So this is a way of making Nether Rack using a smeltery or a melter. Um, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the melter, but a normal smeltery will work fine as well. I will link a um, down in the descriptions a tutorial for how to make a smeltery as well as how to make a melter for your preferred method. So the main component we're going to need today, other than some lava, is some redstone amber. So you will need a redstone sapling in order to do this. The redstone amber is, amber is just nine pieces of redstone resin. Very easy to make. So again, for this tutorial, I'm using a melter, and I will have a description of how to make a melter and how to use it down in the description. Um, but your melter will need to be powered. I, I am powering mine with lava right now, uh, but you can use other uh, combustible items such as uh, blazing pyrothium will also work, and uh, that'll actually melt some higher grade things. But lava will work perfectly fine for what we're doing today. Um, you're also going to need a casting basin, not a casting table, in order to make your nether rack. You're also going to need some additional lava. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a lava bucket and some redstone amber. Now, because I'm in creative, my lava bucket will not empty. Uh, so you may want to have a, a lava source uh, in order to be able to make multiple of your nether rack. But you're going to put lava up in the actual melter itself. So by right clicking on the melter, you'll see that I put lava in. So you don't actually have to melt anything to get lava. Just right clicking with the lava bucket will put lava up inside of your melter. Now, hitting right click on the faucet doesn't do anything. This is where our redstone amber comes in. If we put a piece of redstone amber down inside of our casting basin, and we then right click on our faucet, you'll see the lava will pour over that amber, and it is currently drying out, 50%. And now we're at 100. Right clicking, we now have a piece of netherrack. So it's a very easy way of getting netherrack without really ever having to go into the nether. Um, if you needed that for different advancements, uh, such as trying to make large amounts of netherrack, uh, you can also, of course, use mystical farming and such, but that's usually a little bit further in the game and you need some netherrack to do that. So this is a great way to get you some just basic netherrack right out of the gate, uh, once you have your redstone, of course. Uh, but that's really easy to do, and again, you can just rinse and repeat it as often as you'd like, and it's also very easy to automate this system um, and having lava going directly into your melter as well as having this automatically loading as well. So it's very easy to automate this using a couple automated users and so on. All right. But that's all that's involved with making some homemade netherrack. All right, well, that's going to do us for this video. Uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please be sure to put those down in the description or in the comments. I'll be happy to do my best to get back with you as quickly as I can, as well as if you have any recommendations or suggestions for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4, please throw those down there as well. I'm always looking for new ideas. That's going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.